Welcome to Significant TV, significant stories from significant entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Fran McNeil, and joining me in the studio today is the one and only Pete Rose. Yes, you heard it right. Pete Rose, owner of The Home Hero. Pete! Welcome to Significant TV. Hi, Fran. Hi, <laughs> hi. So excited to have you in the studio. Well, thank you for having me. Oh, it's a pleasure. So, yeah, this is such a pleasure. Um, we were talking offset, and I really wanted to bring it on set, about your significant story in terms of when was that moment or series of moments that yeah. had you say, you know what, I'm going to start a business. Would you share that story? Sure. Uh, yeah. 2009, I had been working in advertising and marketing and sales for about 15 years. I didn't really love what I did every day. Mm -hmm. um, and I got laid off. And I had a small child at home and was sort of like, all right, well, what else do you know how to do? There's no jobs mm -hmm. out there right now. And I just started, I was always handy. I used to do stuff on the weekends. I renovated houses for myself and family. And I just started doing it for friends and neighbors who had always admired my work in my own house. Mm -hmm. And it just, six months in, it just kept growing. People, more and more neighbors kept calling and calling. And it got to this point where I had to say, all right, one day I'm wearing a suit and interviewing for a job. The next day I'm on the floor laying tile. And I said, I have to choose what direction I'm going in here. And I remember my wife was really supportive and said, you seem like you have a passion for this. Maybe this is the way you ought to go. Mm -hmm. And and I just jumped within with both feet, and by 2010 I never looked back, and wow. that was just me then, and now I have 15 people working for me. So 15. Yeah. Wow, that's it's, phenomenal we've growth. Had a, we've had phenomenal yeah. growth. We really have. Wow. So I guess it's the right. It was the right path for me so mm -hmm. far. <laughs> yeah, that's wonderful, and more growth to come. How did you come up with the name for your business? I mean, the home hero. I, it just makes me think of a cave. <laughs> You know, well, I like yeah. to think that 15 years working in advertising and marketing, <laughs> I absorbed something that was okay. useful. Okay. Um, and my wife also works in marketing. Mm -hmm. um, she's a marketing director at the, uh, she was at the Police Touch Museum for many years, which is a mm -hmm. local children's museum, mm -hmm. and also at the American Heart Association. And we, I remember we had a document, I think it's still on my computer, where we were mm -hmm. brainstorming, brainstorming. And I think when we came up with the name, the, the, the factor that rang for us was, you knew what it was the second you heard it, and when you saw the logo, you knew what it was. And I think that's really mm -hmm. important in branding, mm -hmm. is it, it should need no explanation. Right. It, you know, and I, and I see so many brands out there that you're not sure what it is. Mm -hmm. And I think people see our little character with the tool belt and the super cape and... Let's, let's show that um, character, <laughs> because that character is in fact very powerful. Um, oh, you know what? You know I, what? I left I it off to the side. Away. You did. So <laughs> I did. I did. I, I am so sorry. <laughs> I'm However, sorry. let's show some of the awards. Sure. You were, you were in front of, on the cover of oh, well, Philadelphia Magazine. So, well, well we weren't on the cover. We, were, we won two Best of Philadelphia uh, Awards, mm -hmm. uh, which is, you know, in Philadelphia is a significant uh, award to win. We won 2103 Best Handyman and 2105 uh, Best Baby Proofer. Um, we call baby proofing the gateway drug to home renovations. <laughs> the uh, gateway drug? Okay. Uh, Explain that more. This is uh, family TV. <laughs> once, you're, once you're in the home doing baby gates, which is, mm -hmm. you know, everyone's very concerned about their safety of oh, their sure, child, sure. and they realize, oh, you guys do other things. Can you hang oh, this? Can you fix right. this? And it just leads to more work for us. And mm. um, yeah, and so we were featured, and in, in these are the magazines that they were uh, featured in those issues, which is, you know, you get to go to a big gala, mm -hmm. uh, and that was fan awesome, and, and just great recognition. And then um, this is, uh, so I went through the 10 KSB program, mm -hmm. as you know, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, when I started that program, I had tried to get small business loans and, mm -hmm. and wasn't really able to successfully do that because I had started the business with being unemployed and, and right. didn't have credit mm -hmm. uh, to borrow money to buy equipment and things like that. And after I left the 10KSB program through Goldman Sachs, uh, I immediately walked into uh, my local SBDC, a PIDC in, Sil in the city of Philadelphia, and I instantly got financing. I got two rounds of financing actually wow. from them. And they even featured me on their annual report here oh. on the cover, oh, right. um, which I thought was just such a great, they believed in me. Mm. Um, and I think 10K helped get me ready for that. Mm -hmm. And and the fact that I was able to walk in 
you know, and, and get financing right away. And the fact that they gave me all the support and connections, and I also received a, a merchant fund, a grant mm -hmm. to outfit uh, more technology for the company, and that was free money, and it also partnered with PIDC. So PIDC has been a great champion for us, and, and mm -hmm. I just am so proud to be on their cover and uh, mm -hmm. to say what a great organization they were to work with, mm -hmm. and they've been giving us a lot of support. And I think some of the growth we've been having this past year has been uh, really because of them and, and their financial support. Wow. You're, you're really touching on an important part as an entrepreneur, whether you're accidental um, or intentional entrepreneur, you the passion is important and being clear on what your purpose is important, but there's resources that are necessary and a plan that's necessary and it's got to be more than just you, yeah. Um, so that other people can believe in you. Yeah, I think um, you know the ten thousand small pro, ten thousand small business program really helped crystallize what my plan was. I, I think mm -hmm. I was shooting from the hip as most entrepreneurs do, mm -hmm. and and after three months in that program, I walked out with a forty-page growth plan that was, here's where I am, here's where I want to be, here's the steps to get there, and here's all the things that are good and bad about my company, mm. the things that I need to fix and the things that I need to do double down on. Mm. And and then it was, while well, you know, I've been out since a year and a half now, mm -hmm. I looked back the other day and I have accomplished 60, 70 percent of what I set out to wow. do. Um, incrementally and slowly, a lot slower <laughs> than I thought. It was a lot easier to write it than oh, it was to do it. Oh, entrepreneurs always think it'll be done in 10 seconds. <laughs> I, I didn't realize how long it would take, but, I, right. but the fact that I uh, have accomplished so much, you know, I wanted to get more equipment, I wanted to have larger staff, I wanted to have a sales manager, I wanted to have a new website, I wanted to have technology to allow the customers to book their appointments uh, automatically and self-service, mm -hmm. and all of those things are now underway or accomplished at this point, and even mm -hmm. my legal uh, you know, certain structures I need to look at in my, I don't have any of my intellectual properties dealt with, uh, those are on my radar now. Those things mm. are being, I've re found, if I haven't done it, I've found the vendor to do it. Mm. And I've made the connections either through the alumni network mm -hmm. or through PIDC's network or now part of the chamber. Uh, so it's, you know, I didn't know those re any of those resources were even mm -hmm. there. And I think knowing what's out there and all the help that's out there is the greatest, you know, teach a man to fish. Mm, right, um, right. I know now how to fish for myself mm. a little bit, where mm. before I was just eating whatever I could find. Right, which is hard. <laughs> totally hard. Calorically <laughs> bad, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> so, in your business, I mean, now with 15 people, I am sure you've got some wonderful customer stories of folks that are just super, super excited that you were the home hero. Can you share a few and, and why <laughs> they're meaningful to you as an um, I can think of two stories. Okay. Uh, one, I was at the Phillies game with my okay. family. Okay. And my wife being a uh, big big wig in, mar in the marketing world always gets tickets to anything in town and okay. we were in the Hall of Fame club which is not you know Ooh. I don't I don't go to even though I have the name Pete Rose I don't go mm -hmm. to the Hall of oh, Fame oh okay club. please please uh, <laughs> so you know I was all excited and mm -hmm. she was going to be on the field to uh, receive some award for her organization and, and I was like you have to wear the Home Hero shirt you, you have to and sure. by the way so do the kids and we're all going to wear Home Hero shirts and she mm -hmm. of course was embarrassed but mm -hmm. she did it for me and we're walking through all four of us in our Home Hero shirts and some Somebody who I'd never met before in person stopped us and like, are you the home hero? Oh my God, we love you. You guy, you guys are the best. You wow. And I had spoken to them on the phone, but I never had actually met them. Oh. And they were raving to my wife about how amazing we were. And I think that was the first moment where my wife was like, this is bigger than I realized. This oh, is. wow. And another party we were at, someone stopped me and she realized, wait, you're the home hero? You're famous. <laughs> I read about you online all the time. And, you know, I'm not, but it was like that great feeling. You know, that there's so many, we have 4,000 customers we've helped in the last five years. Mm. Oh, that's a I lot of people. I can't walk on the street without somebody stopping me and seeing my shirt, seeing the logo on the car, seeing the trucks, mm -hmm. and stopping and saying, I've seen you guys, I know about you guys, my, my so-and-so used you, they loved you. Mm -hmm. And we just have a lot of love from our customers mm -hmm. and a lot of support. I feel, like, mm -hmm. I feel like our customers really believe in us mm -hmm. and see what we're trying to do, that we're trying to do something different mm -hmm. in a category 
that is generally underserved. You mm -hmm. know, we'd only do jobs one week or less in duration Ooh, to as little as a, a half day. It's a niche. That is a niche. Yeah. You know, the contractors want to do kitchens and additions, um, and the only guys that'll come out for a few hours are a guy in a van down by the river. You know, that somebody mm -hmm. <laughs> who may show up, they might not show up. They right. may be licensed, they might not be licensed. Mm -hmm. And we're more expensive, but we give you VIP level customer service for the small stuff. We'll come out and do an estimate for a small job, for a job that's only a half a day. Mm -hmm. We'll give you a free estimate and we'll show up when we say we're gonna show up. Mm -hmm. And that's unique, mm -hmm. not in the world of business, but in the in this category, right. we don't right. have any direct competition. Mm -hmm. So even though we are more expensive, we close 60% of what we bid. Mm -hmm. um, and that's a huge close ratio for in sales. Mm -hmm. So I'm proud of that. I'm proud that our customers believe in us, that they're right. fans of us, and they keep coming back and back again. Mm -hmm. Wow. Pete, in terms of your business, if someone were, let's say, may they have a 40 year old house. Mm -hmm. What are the things that people most ask you about? And that when you look at your team, you're like, we can do that with our eyes closed. Of course, your eyes wouldn't be closed, but you know, what's um, the most popular request maybe? Drywall repair, everybody has leaks. Oh. Oh, okay. Everybody has leaks and we don't, we don't get into fixing the leak because mm -hmm. we don't do roofing, mm -hmm. we don't, do exterior window and door replacement because we believe those are specialties mm -hmm. and there's a lot more liabilities and additional mm -hmm. insurances you really should have with that kind of work and mm -hmm. and as a, I like to say I don't like to get into Pandora's boxes. Mm. Okay, you know, fair enough. You fix a roof and suddenly mm -hmm. you find there's a whole structural issue underneath. <laughs> you better be prepared to fix it or the customer right. is going to leave them high and dry. So we right. say we We're won't very fix wet. the leak. Oh, sorry, I had to interject that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, I say we won't fix the leak, but we'll, when the leak is fixed, we'll come and fix okay. the inside. And okay. um, but here's a na here's a Rolodex of people that can help you with that problem. Um, but in old houses, water damage from the outside is one of the biggest things, and, and mm -hmm. finding getting those walls put back together. Mm -hmm. And people are so nervous about mold mm -hmm. uh, and things like that. And, and being able to say you need to call this remediation company. You should deal with the mold first. You should deal with the leak first. Don't worry about the aesthetics. We'll take care of the aesthetics when the time is goes. Wow. And being a solution for them. Because even though we're not going to do everything for you, we're going to point you in the right direction. We're going to help you find the vendors that can help you. That's powerful. I mean, for a free estimate, that, that's part of the process? Absolutely. Because I yeah. don't... That's value. I, were, value I believe in my heart that mm -hmm. even if we don't get the job today, by mm -hmm. helping them today will lead to a customer tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And that's, I try to help people. And mm -hmm. I think all the guys that work for me, I have 15 people that work for me, and all of them believe the customer is right and we're here to help the customer. And I think if you have mm -hmm. that attitude, it comes through. It comes through mm -hmm. in your marketing. It comes yes. through in your interpersonal communications with the customer. Um, they feel it. They feel that you care. Mm -hmm. And if you care, then that's something you can't teach. Right, right. It has to come from in here. And right. When I'm hiring somebody, it's not, the work has to be good, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but that's 30% of it. 70% mm -hmm. of it, it's the personality and their heart. Do they mm -hmm. care? Mm -hmm. Do they have an ego or do they believe that they can learn something new? You know, do they, op do they approach it as, how, here's a problem, how am I gonna make this better for this person? Mm -hmm. And I think that's the brand experience that I'm trying to give to uh, wow. our customer base. Powerful. I know folks are saying, wait a minute, I want to get in touch with Pete Rose. I know, The Home Hero. Where can they find you? On the web? Thehomehero.com. Wow. Yeah. Thehomehero.com. Or 267-291-HERO. Oh, okay, say that slower. I like how you got wrapped the hero in there. 267-291-HERO. Mm -hmm. Wow. Hero. Great. Well, Pete, you are my home hero. I know so many Thank folks that have used your services. I'm really excited to know that you're growing, your team is growing, you're getting the recognition, and that you're loving what you do. That's, that's a great, I mean, you know, again, you didn't know that you were gonna be an entrepreneur, <laughs> no but idea. working with something that you love and being able to incorporate skills from advertising and marketing, what a great combination. And you're making a big difference. Thank you. So um, thank you. Thank you. Wow, folks, you know, this show is all about happiness, really, at, at the core. Um, and that is significant, and we're Significant TV. Significant stories from significant entrepreneurs, like Pete Rose, owner of 
the home hero. Join us next time as we continue to share great stories.